Hello Pokemon Trainers, welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon video here on iStarly TV. This is our daily video leading up to the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon on November 18th. Today I'm talking about three Pokemon, well, I'm cheating a little, I'm, I'm going to be talking about more, but some Pokemon that gain a lot with the release of Sun and Moon. These are Pokemon that existed before, they are not new Pokemon, however they got boosts in this game so that they're going to be a lot better. So please leave a like if you enjoy this video and also feel free to subscribe for more Pokemon Sun and Moon content. We are going to be playing a lot of Pokemon Sun and Moon on the channel in the coming weeks, especially because the game's coming out. We're going to be doing a Let's Play of the games and we're very excited and we're also going to be doing some battles and analyses, things like that. Let's start with Bear Tick. Now Bear Tick is a Pokemon that you probably didn't look twice at before. He was introduced in 5th gen in Pokemon Black and White. He's a cool Pokemon. Literally, right? A polar bear. We've never had a polar bear Pokemon. That's awesome. And unfortunately, Bear Tick was never that good. Ice is a notoriously weak type. It's a good offensive type. It has a lot of good coverage and it has some powerful moves. However, as a defensive type, it is very weak. I would go as far as to say it's one of the weakest defensive types in the game. Ice is weak to steel. It's weak to fighting. It's weak to rock. And, uh, and it's neutral, it's, or it's, it resists very few things as well, if anything. And that alone just makes it such a weak offensive typing. And it's also weak to Stealth Rock, which is important in competitive battling. However, Bear Tick got a couple things that are going to make it a little bit better. First of all, it got plus 20 to its attack stat. So normally in the other games, it was a base 110 attack. It has really, really low speed. But it actually has decent bulk, it has high HP and, and decent defenses, but now it has more attack, it has 130 base attack. To put that into perspective, that is as powerful as Machamp. So Bear Tick is now as powerful as Pokemon like Machamp, Garchomp, um, a little weaker but near, near as powerful as something like Dragonite. So that puts it into perspective, Bear Tick is a lot more powerful now. It also has a good move pool with some really powerful moves. Now. You might be wondering, okay, well, it got extra attack, which is good, but that's not fantastic. That's not going to be enough to make it top tier. Well, it also got something that's probably not going to make it top tier, but it's going to help it a lot. And that is a new ability called Slush Rush. And from my understanding, Slush Rush is like Sand Rush in that, it, it, except it, it triggers in Hail. So if you are in a Hail Storm, you know how Pokemon can use the Hail move? and it snows for five turns and it damages non-ice type Pokemon, then if you're in a hailstorm, Bear Tick's speed stat is going to be doubled. So this adds some utility to, to Bear Tick. It looks like they buffed a lot of hail type effects and, and hail type Pokemon. Pokemon that can use hail moves and, and, and snow warning and stuff like that. There's a lot going on with that. So it looks like they're trying to make that a little bit more competitively viable. And Bear Tick might be the Pokemon to help you get there. So. Bear Tick's now more powerful and it has an ability that boosts, that doubles its speed in a hailstorm. So be on the lookout for Bear Tick. It's probably not going to be one of the best Pokemon in the game. This isn't going to make it skyrocket in, in potential, but it does add to its potential a lot. So Bear Tick was pretty much bottom of the barrel before, and now it's actually something that might be worth looking at. Number two, and this is a little bit of a, you know, a favoritism kind of thing. I am really happy though. One of my favorite Pokemon got a boost and that is Flygon. Now Flygon's a Pokemon who has been really interesting. Since it was released in 3rd gen it was really good. 4th gen Flygon was one of the top Pokemon ever. It was well rounded, it has decent defenses, decent offensive stats, eh, about average. Um, it's, it's just average or slightly below average. Its move pool is very good and its typing is also very very good but it just wasn't good enough. However, with Sun and Moon, Flygon actually learns Dragon Dance now. Dragon Dance is one of the best boosting moves in the game. It boosts the user's attack and speed stat in one turn, which is great. Flygon has been needing Dragon Dance for a long time. It just recently in previous generations got Roost and Superpower, two moves that have absolutely helped it a lot. And, and it has Defog, it has Earthquake, it has Fire Blast, it has 
Draco Meteor. It ha Flygon just has so much going for it as far as move pool is concerned. Dragon Dance is going to help it out immensely. I cannot stress how excited I am to play with Flygon using Dragon Dance because it hasn't had a move like this in the past. And since it's one of my favorite Pokemon, I'm definitely going to be trying it out a lot. So be on the lookout for Flygon. It, it also might not be like top tier like it used to be, but I really think that there's a good chance that Flygon could see a lot more play. Now fi finally, before we reveal the number one Pokemon, and this is also going to encompass a couple others. I'm going to I'm going to go over a few honorable mentions really quick. Now these are Pokemon that just just got boosts to their stats and that's it. First, we have Masquerain. Masquerain got 20 boost to its special attack, so it, its special attack is now 100 and it got 20 boost to its speed, so now it has 80 speed. That's really good. F Masquerain's an interesting Pokemon because it also has access to Intimidate roost and quiver dance which makes it kind of like a bulky mixed setup sweeper i've always tried to use masquerade but it's never worked out i think that these stats are going to help it out a lot they're not going to make it amazing but they will help it a lot next we have dodrio dodrio got plus 10 to its speed in addition to getting swords dance and jump kick in its move pool this makes dodrio really really interesting to consider and I think that Dodrio is going to be a lot of fun to use now as well. It's going to be a very offensive Pokemon. Finally, for my honorable mentions, we have Dugtrio, who got plus 20 attack. So Dugtrio now has 100 base attack. Dugtrio is extremely fragile, but it's very fast. And now it can hit decently hard. It's not very hard. It's not one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game by any stretch. But its ability, Arena Trap, means that it can trap Pokemon in the battlefield, not letting them switch out. And it's just gonna, I, I just think this is gonna be fantastic. And just look at its new hairstyle. Just look at that. Okay, so my final Pokemon that I think is gonna be a big player thanks to Sun and Moon's additions, and that's Pelipper. That sounds crazy. I know that sounds crazy. Pelipper might be very good now because it got Drizzle. Drizzle is the ability that makes it automatically summon rain when it's sent into battle. Currently, only two Pokemon in existence have this ability, and they are Kyogre and Politoed. And in 5th gen, Rain was everywhere. It was one of the main play styles in that entire generation. And then in 6th gen, they realized it was so good that they nerfed Rain so that it wasn't permanent anymore. It only lasts five turns, and then you have to send it out again, which really hurt it. But Maybe we'll see some, some resurgence in that. I think the fact that Pelipper gets Drizzle is extremely exciting. I love Pelipper. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I know it's really random, but it's just so cool. And it's it's always been really weak, but Drizzle is going to help it a lot. Now it can fire off 100% accurate Stab Hurricanes. It can use Scald. It can use Roost, Defog, U-Turn. And it also has access to other moves. This doesn't seem like a whole lot, but... Pelipper is just such a cool Pokemon, and it very well might be worth using as well. Um, in addition to Pelipper getting Drizzle, three more Pokemon got a Weather ability. Torkoal now has Drought, Gigalith now has Sandstream, and Vanillux now has Snow Warning. So, Weather is back. Kinda. <laughs> it's probably not going to see as much play as it did back in the day, but... This gives you a lot of very useful and very interesting new options with what Pokemon you can use in competitive battling. I am extremely excited. Let me know what Pokemon you are excited for. I'll leave a couple links in the description to a couple forums on Smogon where they cover like all the new changes for older Pokemon. There's a lot going on here and I'm really excited for all of it. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you also enjoyed. Tell all your friends, we're going to be playing a lot of Pokemon. We're going to be trying out all of these new buffs to these Pokemon. And I hope you're as excited as I am. I'll see you soon.